You're turning into a big girl. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean, if you haven't been here before. Today I'm filming a makeup tutorial, finally. You guys have been asking over and over again, and I know I'm so sorry. It's so hard for me now to sit down and film makeup videos at my dad's house because I don't have the beautiful vanity setup like I did at my mom's when I first started YouTube. Um, but I actually set up a pretty good setup today, so let me know what you guys think about the lighting and just like the backdrop, and I have enough space to actually work with a mirror and all that. So it's a lot more complicated behind the scenes um, than it may look. Getting the makeup look that I had in one of my last videos showing all my like current favorite makeup products But yeah, I'm basically recreating like my signature kind of very easy simple smoky eye And I'm gonna be using the Tati Beauty palette for this some of the matte shades This is gonna be an all matte look so it's very attainable I like to use warm rich tone brown so this is my during the day glam like this is just signature EJB of makeup I feel like and that's what we're gonna do today. So I just picked my skin. I was on like a business call and then I talked to Kyle and Kelly and I've just been like on the phone. So while I'm on the phone, I've been like messing with my skin, which obviously is such the wrong thing to do right before I film. So ignore like all these breakouts that are like red right now because I was just picking them so much. If you guys want to get ready with me and learn how to get my signature smoky look, then just keep watching. All right, first step, we're gonna clip our hair back. You guys were asking me where I got these clips from. They're actually from Ulta. I linked them in a different video, but I'll link them again down below in this video as well as all the other products. And we'll get to it. I actually did a fake tan last night, so you can see my body's pretty tan. I did put it on my face and neck, but it's just like not coming off very tan, which is fine because we're going to apply dark makeup anyways. So for primer, I'm going to take the Pore Professional Hydrating Primer. This is just going to help fill in my pores like to take a pea sized amount of this and I'm gonna press this into my problem area which is usually the t-zone for most people I love the hydrating one just like gives my skin the extra hydration that it needs but definitely having your good skincare routine underneath before you do your makeup is so important you guys I cannot stress it enough I'm next gonna take my Laneige sleeping mask just put this on now to hydrate our lips while we're doing our face so when we come around for lipstick they are nice and prepped this lip mask is so good but I did just order the Tatcha one from the Sephora VIB sale and I am so excited to get that I haven't gotten it yet I'm now applying the Charlotte Tilbury primer this is a glow primer it's called the Wander Glow I talked about this in my favorites video and I love this it's just a really nice glowy primer and this is one that I like to put everywhere to give me that glow underneath my foundation okay next for foundation today I'm going to be using the CC plus cream from it cosmetics I love this this is a super high coverage CC cream and it just has a lot of great things in it for your skin plus SPF and it's pretty sunny out today it's actually very sunny out today for Michigan our weather's been kind of crappy all spring very crappy all spring I should say and for the first of May it actually feels like spring outside it's like 65 and it's been sunny all day I love it so much easier to film when it's nice out like Michigan gloomy days it is so dark in my room and just even with like artificial lights I just feel like it's just not like bright enough and I'm not like in the good mood vibes you know because most days you guys lately I've literally been in pajamas all day long, I'll take two showers a day, I'll get in bed, I'll eat in bed, I'll be on my laptop like all day just doing the most random stuff. But yeah, so let me know if you guys have been like doing the same things or what you guys have been up to in quarantine at this point because I feel like we're kind of in a different point from when we first started quarantine. I feel like it's not as like exciting anymore. Not that the beginning of quarantine was exciting. I just felt like the beginning, I kind of like needed it at that time, but now I'm like, over it because we've been stuck inside for so long so I think my motivation has really gone away for the whole quarantine motivation but I just like I also have realized that I'm trying not to be too hard on myself either because I do truly believe this is a time 
for many of us to take a step back and just not be so hard and rushed and always having to do something and always having to be somewhere and always, always having to talk to someone. Um, I think it's important to just be in the moment and just chill and just be with yourself if you're able to. And for all the people that are still working right now, my heart goes out to you. I just can't imagine having to be in the public working right now. Um, all the grocery store workers, healthcare workers, just all those services that are essential. Thank you to you if you guys are doing that. It's amazing. Okay, so the foundation is on. It's pretty easy to blend out. Definitely needed to blend it down my neck. I'm kind of making this look a little bit more daytime. The main look of this is the eyes, which I will show you. We will do that once we finish our base. Um, so just know like you can do your base however you want. Some days I want more glowy and light and like daytime, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. And some days I want more full glam, full coverage matte for like a night out. Um, so the base can really kind of change. I mean, the same techniques are always used for me. The products I use depend on the mood, depend on the weather, depend on what I'm doing. So just keep that in mind. But once we get to the eyeshadow, just like the technique and placement and colors I like to use is always pretty much the same. So now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape, applied that to my T-zone, all the areas I like to conceal. This is in the shade light medium. I really like this color. It's a good like lighter color for when I'm tan and when I'm my natural color this like almost matches perfectly so I'll use it with like no makeup days and just conceal under my eyes with it. I blend out with the same sponge and to set my under eyes and all the little t-zone areas I'm going to take my Cody Air Spun Powder this is the translucent extra coverage, which is very important with this powder. They have like actual shades. You want to get the extra coverage translucent. And you only need the tiniest bit of this. So I just literally dip my sponge right into it. And even that's like a little too much, tap it off and just press under my eyes. I don't want to bake. Like I don't actually want to see the powder on my face when I'm applying it. I just want to press it into the skin so it sets that I think this product is overused sometimes by people and then they hate it because they're using too much of it this is also shown in my favorites video for any breakouts too like this whole little area where I have quite a few breakouts I like to set that area usually a little bit more just to keep the coverage on those so now moving on to our cheeks I'm going to contour and like warm up the face I'm going to take this Kylie bronzer in the shade Almond. This is also my favorites video. She has a great shade range. This is one of the darker ones just because when I am tan and I'm doing more like full eyeshadow, I like to do a pretty heavy contour and bronze. So I'm going to take my Morphe M530 brush and contour my face. Normally I never link brushes just because it's like a hassle and I'm being lazy, but I finally have all my brush links and they're pretty much always the same. So I will link every brush that I use in this video down below and like what I used it for because sometimes if a brush is marketed for blush, sometimes I use it for bronzer or vice versa, kind of make up my own rules. I'm kind of contouring the nose, going under the lip. I like to hit all these spots just to add that color and definition. You don't have to be like so precise with it. Now going under the jawline, which is very important, especially as of lately. I feel like my face has been a little bit fuller lately, if you will. I watched some of my old videos when I was like 16 and 17, and I know it, I'm still young. I'm going to be 21 this month, which is crazy. I'm going to be spending my 21st birthday in quarantine, probably. Watch my old videos, and I'm like, oh my god. I just look little like I was just a littler and I don't think I was like that much I mean I was skinnier yeah but I just feel like I was like not even fully developed yet like my face was just so narrow and that would be nice to still have but it's okay okay so now for blush I'm dying to use this so I'm gonna use it on camera right now with you guys because I cannot wait any longer this is the Patrick Ta blush velvet blush in the shade she's adorable so let's open this up first of all the packaging is beautiful there's my camera 
and I haven't even opened this yet, you guys. That is like my color. That is what the blush looks like. It's a pretty deep, kind of peachy, warm tone blush, and it looks like there's a tiny bit of shimmer in it. This compact is beautiful. I love this, so I'm really excited to try this. I'm going to take my all-time favorite blush brush, the Morphe E4, tap into there, and tap off the excess. I don't know how pigmented this is going to be yet. And smile. And pop on the cheeks. Okay, it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be right away, which is completely fine. I just want to be careful when you're using a new blush to kind of test it out. I feel like I work faster than I can explain to you guys. I do my cheeks first and then leftover product, I go over my nose, chin, and up on my forehead. I really like my color everywhere. I don't like placing certain products just in one area because I feel like it doesn't overall blend together as a full look. When someone just puts blush on their cheeks, I just find it to look more obvious, which obviously you're wearing makeup. I just like the more fully blended seamless look so I'll take these brushes and kind of hit everywhere else on the face and so far that blush is so pretty so for highlight I'm actually gonna go back to an oldie I haven't done this in a while this is my Charlotte Tilbury flawless Hollywood flawless filter and this is more of like a liquid highlighter it's very light um, I use this in the summer a lot when I already have like a normal suntan and I'll just use this on my face more as like a glow product you can also use it on top of makeup even though we already did some powders you can still make it work so it comes on this doe foot and I'm just gonna tap it on my cheeks and use this as my highlighter. It still gives that natural look, but because it's a liquid, it's more of that like wet look than like shiny powdery look. I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I kind of take like the part where nothing, I don't use it. This flat side I use for foundation, this pointed side I use for concealer and powder, so I kind of like to use like the part that <laughs> nothing's used for to tap out highlighter or any like liquid products like this that I use later on. And you'll see it just gives that wet look like the actual highlight isn't that intense it's just that look and I kind of just dab over my cheeks overall to blend everything together I live for this you can see how much more really glowy that looks so this is a great universal product you can do so much with it but over makeup under makeup on its own with everything so i love this i'm in the shade three by the way light medium but you can kind of be pretty lenient with the shades because they're not like super pigmented or anything i think we're gonna move in move in i think we're gonna <laughs> zoom in so we can do our eyes like i said for our eyes we're just using the tati beauty palette for this look i actually highly recommend the juvia's place matte palette which i'll have linked down below because all we're going to be using are the first row which are all her mattes and I'm really only going to be using like the neutral tones, the browns, and maybe a little bit of the black. Um, so the Juvia's Place is an all matte palette with beautiful tones in it. Um, and it's like 10 or 20 bucks from Ulta. So if you can't get your hands on this, which I know you can't right now, highly recommend the Juvia's Place one. Okay, let's zoom in. So first things first, you can see when I kind of close my eyes how some of the concealer has been creased in there just from doing our makeup. So I'm going to take my beauty sponge and blend out those creases that just happens naturally while you're doing your makeup and I'm going to take just any fluffy brush I do need one that's like just for light colors I don't have one with me right now this is one I normally use in my crease um, and I'm going to take the shade aura which is this really pretty creamy shade and just kind of put that everywhere just to set the eyes brighten them up a little bit and a similar shade is in the Juvia's Place palette too, by the way. The Juvia's Place palette I actually prefer for this look. I don't have it here at my dad's house, um, so I'm working with what I have here. But I actually prefer the Juvia's palette for this look because this look is an all matte look and it's just a smaller palette and easier to use and has just like the colors that I need. While this, I'm kind of like working out of a giant palette when I'm only using like the matte shades. But either way, like the actual formula is amazing. So I'm just setting my eyes and you can see it's just like brightening them as well. I take it all the way up, all the way in. This is just creating that like base for us. So next I'm going to take the same brush. I always just take a crease brush normally 
but I would recommend having a separate brush just for your cream really really light shades um, so it doesn't get like mixed in with the dirty colors this is the morphe m441 and go into the shade settle which is just a nice mid-tone light brown tap into there tap off the excess you could also use your bronzer for this part and just throw this in the crease and you don't want this shade to be too dark you can see i'm applying it first on the outer portion so the darkest portion is on the outside of the eye and not on the inside of the eye but you don't really need to build this up too much i just like to really fan it out to get up to the brow bone and make it very seamless so you can see i'm not being very specific with where i'm laying it i want it nice and blended from like here and up from the crease and up Okay, you can see that just did the tiniest bit of definition. I Next, you guys, this is literally the easiest part, and this is like what makes this look this look. And I've done this look sometimes, like literally in 30 seconds before a party. If I first did like a natural look for a party and I was like, you know what, this is just not right, I'll literally add the shadow in 30 seconds, like running out the door to a party. So I'm taking this Morphe M433. This is pretty much a fluffy brush, but you can see it's flat on each side, which is key for this look. I feel like you have to have this brush to do this look the easiest and correct way. So I'm going to take this and dip it into the shade Ritual, which is this dark, rich, warm brown. And what I do is I take one flat side of the brush and I literally lay it in there completely flat, patting it. And then I always work off the back of my hand. So I'll pat it on my hand, take off any excess color. And kind of like go back in, tap on my hand, go back in, tap on my hand. So it's a really nice even coat on the brush. And I literally just stamp it on the outside of my eye. Stamp. I'm just kind of like stamp up and down. And you don't have to get the blending perfect yet. This is more just laying the color down bringing it up into the crease a little bit and you're kind of bringing it like halfway so obviously it, like it does not look good right now we're just trying to get that color intensity down and once you get the hang of this you're gonna be able to do it really really fast so I like to kind of push it into my crease and then above my crease a tiny bit to give my eye that shape but if you don't want it as blown out then you can just keep it a little bit more controlled so now you can see we have our color on the outer portion of our eye now I'm going to go in with this smaller fluffy brush, similar to the first brush we used. Just picture like a baby of that. So this is the Morphe M514. Sometimes I just won't take any color on this product at all, just taking as is. And using this to kind of blend out and soften the edges. Then you don't have to worry too much about right here right now because we are going to connect the lower lash line later, which will make that look a little bit better. So really you just want to blend in between where kind of stops and then blend out the crease a tiny bit I'm gonna take sometimes I go back in with a little bit of aura which is that cream shade and just kind of clean up the top of our brow because we don't want the color to go too far we still want it to be nice and bright up top and then sometimes I'll also take the same stamper brush go back into settle the lighter brown shade and kind of just go over that to add more dimension and color this isn't a necessity again this is kind of depending on my mood some days I want it to be more like that rich gray darker color and some days I want to like mix some more browns in there so you can obviously do this with any color you can add some orange in there which a lot of times I do I like warm tones on my eyes just kind of adding and working with the color the more shades you use I would say like a maximum three or four the more dimension it's gonna have right now I'm kind of dipping into these three like back and forth a little bit of the orange a little bit of the light brown a little bit of the dark and making a good little like mixture and again this just adds like a nice are you getting old now you're turning into a big girl yeah you're tired you're just sleeping. Guys, she's a spaz now. Now that she's reached like past that like scared phase, she's total kitten behavior, like crazy. Like she's actually kind of sleepy right now because she was just napping, but most of the day she's literally like, play with me, play with me, play with me. I want to run through this entire house off of every piece of furniture I can find. So 
She's been a lot more work than I kind of thought. Not more work, she's just like always bothering me <laughs> during the day. And I didn't think she was going to have that kitten behavior because when we first got her, she was so like shy and sweet. I thought she was going to keep that attitude, but now she's like totally kitten, which I should have known that. I just kind of like assumed not. Okay, so you can see we really have that color on there now and you can see all the different shades in there. You can see the warmth, you can see that darker brown and then that lighter brown just helps mesh everything together. So just using multiple shades to stamp that color on is great. I would say use the darkest one first to just get that base color and then go around with some other colors. So I'm gonna go back in with the original fluffy brush and maybe take a little bit of Soothe, which is that lighter brown, tap off excess on my hand and just use this to go in the crease again like we did from the beginning and just really blend out those harsh lines okay now i know it still kind of looks kind of crazy but the next part is literally my favorite part of every makeup look and really brings everything together not everybody is the biggest fan of this but this will make your eyes look so big and round and i think a lot of people are scared to do it how i do it um but i'm telling you guys once you start doing it and if you're into that smoky blown out look like game changer and this is nothing new like i did not invent this whatsoever okay so i'm gonna take my pencil brush and this is the morphe m431 and i'm gonna go into the shade ritual which is that dark rich brown tap my pencil brush in there again tap off on the hand you always want to work off your hand just to get better control over your what you're working with and i'm gonna put this underneath smoking that out especially right in this outer corner where like it kind of seemed like nothing was connecting there we're basically connecting the bottom shadow to the top to really create that round eye effect and you want it to be darkest out here and then lighter on the inside so you can see i'm not taking it all the way to the inner corner because we want to keep that area nice and light and bright but i like to go pretty intense with this this is like the best and that's why i don't really use eyeliner that much like my eyeshadow is my eyeliner and i just like a more smoky sultry look okay that's on and sometimes like it's a little messy you just have to kind of work with it and sometimes i'll go back in with my beauty sponge clean that up a little bit okay so now for our eyebrows i'm just gonna like i like to do this so it takes off like all the nasty foundation that was on sitting on top of them and for my brows i'm going to use what i've been using for a while now this is the foolproof brow powder from benefit in the shade five um and i'm just going to quickly fill in my brows nothing special i'm going to fast forward through this so just skip through it so you don't have to watch because brows are boring and everybody has like their own brow routine so okay we are back eyebrows are on you guys can probably see how this look is really coming together now next i'm gonna do my mascara really quick which i guess i'll probably speed up through this too because mascara is so self-explanatory and i talk about my favorites all the time so i'm gonna curl my lashes i'm gonna use l'oreal lash paradise on the top and mac giga black lash on the bottom um so yeah on the top on the bottom gonna do this really quick you can always apply a false lash normally when I'm going out I would um, but for today we're not even gonna bother so mascara is on now for the lips finally and then we're almost done I'm gonna do a classic Emily lippy so if you guys follow me then you already know what I'm about to use I have my 09 spice from Milani literally very low all of them look like this now i just need like a fresh one because they're all so gross at this point um and then i'm going to top it off with a light nude gloss this one's from mark jacobs i always use a different gloss just depending on my mood again so whenever you guys are asking me what is on my lips it's always or most of the time 09 spice with either a cream lighter nude gloss or like a completely clear gloss over top um so yeah i'm gonna outline my lips with this and i like to overline a little bit and when you overline you want to overline in the center so right here i'll go over a little bit but then follow my natural in the corners and then I'll overline my cupid's bow, but then follow my natural on the corners again. Just the liner. I feel like you guys are so far away. And then the gloss. Sorry, this is in the shade Sugar Sugar. I 
think that completes this look hope you guys enjoyed this video and like the end result this is literally like my go-to makeup look i'm obsessed with it it's so easy and i hopefully i explained it a little bit more in detail for you guys i haven't filmed like a legit tutorial in a while um so i'm definitely going to be doing more because i already know like you guys have requested that i just need to make the time hopefully have some sunny days ahead in the month of may and i finally have like a pretty good setup here so let me know what you guys think of this video overall i love you guys so much thank you for being patient with me again if you guys are not subscribed you should hit that subscribe button ring the bell to be notified and also follow me on instagram and tiktok at emily jean beauty yeah i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.